Now back to Boots, who is investigating the white caves for the disappearance of that child and uh, lots of other people in the village on the surface of Democritus. Yeah, those bunnies look a bit ominous. Boots also has a new gun, so that should be fun. Get to test it out. Let's see. Search the white caves for the little missing boy. I will, I will. How am I doing? Side chain, that's excellent. Uh huh. Alrighty. Let's see what the new gun does. Awesome. New gun is a bit slow, but it does a lot of damage. And I guess in a turn based combat, it doesn't really matter how slow your gun is. Those were ugly. Snow suckers. But on the trail of the little boy. Uh, more of those. Teleported.
Again, I keep saying it, but there's such a, uh, a big variety in uh, landscapes and atmospheres throughout this whole game. Every time you visit a new um, area, a new planet, even, even part of a planet, it looks like its own little world and it makes sense uh, in the real world. Not every place looks the same or feels the same or has the same people in it, so... The fact that that walkie forest is set on the same planet as, as this, it's a completely different place. Uh, I really enjoy that. I think, uh... Not many games do that well. It's either too much of the same or different for different sake. And sometimes it makes sense, like if you take uh, Skyrim for example, it, it makes sense that the whole place looks somewhat similar. I guess it's a big country, but it's just one country after all. Super shot. What is that? Ah, yes, I remember that. Aerial trigger. That is a great trick. Oh, it seems we're getting nearer.
Lots of the area of effect special skills, I, I like them because they are very overpowered and uh, they do a ton of damage to usually all enemies on the field. So, so even if you only have one enemy, it's still a useful skill because it, it might do as much damage as or more damage than just doing a regular attack to one enemy. So it's always useful to have those. Oh, not the bunnies, not the bunnies. Those bunnies looked seriously disturbing. And down we go. What's that? Let's see. Hmm. Seems like this is where the missing people went. there in a flash you can see Boots. Boots is a clone, his duplicate sticking out here in the front. He blinked. I think he's supposed to be dead but the Boots copy blinked. How cute! Aww. Do we really have to fight this cute little thing? So cute now. That was a lot of damage. Right, so. I couldn't move. I'm moving now, but it's too late. Right, I should have healed. Timing, timing.
that did almost nothing, so let's not do that again. But can I just, uh, this one? Yes, I can. This is probably why we find that special skill before this battle. Just super handy. Freeze cubist and a wimper pelt. Where did he come from? Oh, it's the kid. Hi there. Right, so, good work. Report to the Burgermaster. I will not do such a thing just yet. I got a Wimper Pelt. And 12 bars of Dorinium. Not sure what I meant to do with that. Freeze cubist, that's it. Damages and tries to freeze target, so that is actually a boots a mistake type. So we still need the proper one for the planet and one for the robot. And then everybody's got their favorite type. Now before I go to the Burgermaster, because I think that triggers the... I heard you saved a little one from the ice creature and on the way back here, he done kicked you in. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think if you talk to the Burgermaster, it triggers the uh, end of this sequence. Mm. Are you still trying to eat your face off? Yep. You there. I see young Peter's post a pelt of his own. Yes, I do. Wimper Pelt Cell. So, uh, made from a Wimper's Warm Pelt. I think 
throw in your boots to make sure you use it. Oh, it's a shield cell, obviously. It's not a... You know, we saw him in the caves and he's dead. You gave her a bug. That Peter really was a dick, wasn't he? It's like, oh, I need an anniversary gift. Uh, here, this bug. Isn't it beautiful? Sure is. I don't think there's anything else for me to do here, so I'll just finish it up. Nope, not a child at all. Hey. Safe at last. Away from this mad town, crazy village. Hey, Slick. Done freezing your butt off? Yeah. Give me a hug. I need some body heat. Oh, you wish. Come on. What does Lori think of that? Right in front of her. Excellent to see you safe and sound, sir. Yes, quite a relief. We're sorry about expanding the planet like that. No, we're not. It was the only means of escape. Gas alert. Out of my way, fellas. <laughs> that was quick thinking, fellas. Whose idea was that? Mine. Mine. Mine! So, what next? I'm gonna take a Trotsky. And after that? We stock up on supplies, get a decent night's sleep, and rendezvous with the rest of the party at Center Station tomorrow morning. Splendid. Shall I reserve a room for Mr. Estrella? Who? El Puño, your superhero friend. We briefed him on our quest, and he has graciously offered to join us. <laughs> oh. Hi. Uh, hey, uh, sorry about all that stuff I said back on the villain ship, Mr. Estrella. I was nervous. Call me Paco. He gives a mean back rub. Back rub? <laughs> you, you, you will let us know when you're leaving, won't you? There we are, all safe again. Ready to explore Votown. town. 